welcome. I'm very excited to bring you a brand new series of videos at LiveLinkTraining.com. My name is Ken Fisher. In this series of videos, we're going to take a journey from zero to hero with a complete beginner's course on Photoshop Elements. We're starting from the basics. We'll build up your knowledge and skills of this awesome photo editing software to the point where you achieve inner peace, tranquility, become one with the universe and transcend the human body to become a Photoshop Elements Ninja. <clears throat> well, well, I can't guarantee the transcending bit, but I'll do my best with the rest. Now there's a new feature in Photoshop Elements that allows you to turn off smart objects. Oh, okay, okay, yeah, what are smart objects you may ask? Well, it's a good question and one I will answer fully in another video. Okay, so here I've got two images opening the bin. And let's say I'm going to, I want to make a collage. So I'm going to grab one of the images and I'm going to drag it and drop it over the top. And if you look in the layers panel here, you can see that we've got two layers. But now this top layer, it's got a funny little symbol on it. And this is the smart object. This is a smart object thumbnail. Now this means that I can't do certain edits to it. If I wanted to run a filter on it, or I want to, let's say, cut off a part of the image. I'll go and select my marquee tool. So I just want to drop the bottom off and then I'll press the backspace key to delete. And it comes up with this error message really that says the smart layer must be simplified before it can be edited. Would you like to proceed? And you would click OK. And this will turn it now into a normal layer that you can edit to your heart's content. So you can see that little symbol in the, in the corner is gone now. And then if I wanted to, I could delete that portion of this image. Now this is OK. I'll just get rid of that selection. This is OK, but to be honest, it's frustrating if you don't use smart objects. So there is a method of, of getting rid of it now or stopping it happening, and that's in Preferences. So if we go up to the Edit menu and down to Preferences and into the General Preferences, there is now a tick box here for Disable Smart Objects. And if I just put a tick in there and then click OK. Now, if I do the same thing, so I'll go back to my photo bin. If I do the same thing now, and well, I'll just drag that layer, drop it in the bin. If I do the same thing now with this one, I'll click on this layer and I'll drag it in. Oops, clicked on the wrong layer. I'll click this one and drag it in. It now drags it in as a normal pixel based layer which I can edit to my heart's content. Well, that's it for this tutorial. If you don't need or want smart objects at the moment, you can now turn them off in the general preferences by ticking the little tick box. I hope you enjoyed that. I hope it was useful. In the next videos, we'll be delving deeper and deeper into showing you all you need to know about this amazing software step by step. If you've got any comments or questions, please leave them in the comments underneath the video. If you like the video, please share it with a friend and click the subscribe button. So when I upload a new video, you are the first to know. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the very next video. Bye for now.